Hello guys, uh, today we are at, where are we? Sagaleta. Sagaleta. Which is the most expensive area in the whole of Europe. Sure There's is. There's no way around it. Nope. The special thing about this place is not keeping up with the Kardashians. Yeah, because this is not Gucci land, this is not Versace, but it is Playboy land. These are Chanel people. Yeah. Silicon Valley people. There's a, a president in uh, in Russia who lives there. We have a good colleague. He, he put it very well. He said, these people here are another kind of human beings. It's all about minding your own business. They have guns. <laughs> <laughs> the guys in there, they have guns. Yeah. But it's beautiful. Come on, guys. <laughs> 6,000 square meter plot, 1,184 square meters of beautiful, newly reformed house. Come in and have a look. Who doesn't want to live here? Beautiful. It is stunning. It's beautiful, peaceful. You don't have a bad morning here, do you? Wow. I thought it was really It's amazing. Nobody has ever been in this pool. Are you sure? Brand new. All exclusive. Well, we have a lazy cameraman, don't we? Okay. Wow. You can get your morning coffee, can't you? Fantastic place. In any normal house, this would be the whole house, but this is only the master bed. Bathroom, look at the wardrobe right here. It's a walk-in closet. You get lost in here. Well, here, direct access. This is for the men. We it, saw, we saw the, the, the woman's walk-in. Yeah. And just the next one. If you are having a trouble with a wife, you can put you, you can put a child in here also. Yeah. How many bedrooms? Six bedrooms and eight bathrooms. That's okay. On a six thousand square meter plot. Yep. Eleven hundred square meter built. Good. That's enough. Playroom, gym, yoga, meditation. This is it. Very clean. It's That's all nice. coming down to earth. Yeah. I actually could live here. You still have a little sun in the evening. And try to remember, guy, we have January. It's January 2020. Insane. This is... <laughs> this is as go in the pool, close to as go, good go, as it gets. Go take a pool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot my towel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How much does it cost to have a house like this? I would say average around 6,000 euros a year. And that is for the community, but then you have your own maintainers. Yes. And the same would be for the EV. So uh, maybe, maybe 2,000 euro in cost per month. Yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. That's only like for the house like this, maybe one week of rent in the summer, would you say? Six bedrooms? 20,000 euros, yeah. 20,000 euros per week if you guys want to rent it. We still need to put the furniture in, don't we? But listen, if you rent it out for 20 weeks, 25 weeks, yeah. forget buy it, it, rent it out, forget and make money. It. <laughs> Any final clever last words? Well, a property like this for 6 million euros. It's you could bad. say it's a lot of money, but mm -hmm. I think this house is actually a great bargain. If you look at the square meter price for a completely new development place, True. it's 5,200 euro per square meter. Yeah. We're gonna see- And you are in the most expensive estate in Europe. In the whole of Europe. Yeah. We have another one. Remember we went in uh, Roca del Mar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The square meter price was higher. Yeah. And it was a two bedroom. Yeah, in Mia Flores. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, you're getting 1,200 square meters here. Yeah. But it's, it's a fantastic good bargain. It's in fact, that's a really nice sell. There's nothing to compare no. with this. Well guys, follow us on some of the other videos and subscribe on Instagram and our Facebook and we'd love to see you on the next video. What are we going to see today? Well, what is the color? It's an old fishing village, isn't it? It is, and it's also new built and it's some, uh, a lot of golfing at oh. the top. So, this is the top end of La Cala. It is. It stretches all the way from here, or the other way, and all the way down to the sea. 
and even the golf players need a place to stay. Even those guys. They're nice. building around yeah, us yeah. again, new beautiful developments. There's a lot being built up and here. Do you remember the price for these ones? I think the starting price is for something you want to live in, 300,000, 350. Opportunities to play golf, having the sea view, just enjoying the Spanish lifestyle. What is La Cala here? It's part of Mijas. It sure is. It's an old fishing town. Yeah. 4,000 people. With church square, police station, and schools and stuff like that. So in the winter time, there's a lot of activities here. And, and one of my favorite restaurants is actually in town. Which one? It's the Little Geranium. In my opinion, La Cala lives all year round. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Look at it, January month. It's January, guys. If you want a property here, how, how much is it? Like some of these old properties here. I know there's one in the next row for 250,000 euro. Again, you use 30,000 euro in reform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you are in the center of La Cala. Yeah. Jacob, look at this one. Yeah, what is it? First line. Is it a townhouse? It's even a villa, isn't it? and you're overlooking the beach. How much is a property like that? I don't know, I'm asking. This would go for around 600,000 euro, but... It's actually cheap, it maybe. Needs, it needs a reform. Yeah, not too bad. A year ago, a guy bought a huge plot over here and yeah. made a beautiful beach uh, club out yeah. of it. It was a huge plot, he paid 1 million euro for it. But this property, yeah. look at it, it needs reform, but you are three meters from the sea. Yeah. Let's go make him an offer. <laughs> We'll find a client for him. <laughs> Jacob, what is this? This is uh, the new build area of La Cala. 800 meters up from the beach, you will have uh, new developments. Look at this. Open space, wonderful terraces, overviewing the sea. It looks like this now, and it will look like this. <laughs> Hi guys, Hi guys, this is Jacob and Pierre from Mojo. Today we're gonna take you around the area of Benel Marina. Right now we are in the beautiful location called Benel Marina Pueblo. We're also gonna take you down to a location called Turamuya and finish up by the popular area of Stupa Hills. What, what, what is the key selling point here if you have well, to? I will definitely say it's still very Spanish, yeah. but it's also international. Yeah. In this community, we have 130 different nationalities. And it's especially popular for Northern Europeans, yeah. as the culture codes are something that we can really relate to. I mean, I think a lot of Dan Danish people, that we're Danish anyway, they settle here because of that, right? Sure they do. You have schools here, and you have hospitals here. Try right? to imagine, you get a two-bedroom apartment for 200,000 euro at this place. Yeah, yeah. With that view, mm. that's still possible. If you pay, if you have to set like a limit, a border to where you would recommend people to well, invest in Benamar and Puebla. I'm not talking about the Marina Costa. I will definitely go from the era of Cerro Cabrada, yeah. down where the casino hotel is there, yeah. on the left, and all the way to Cabajal yeah, yeah. Beach. Yeah, the Higuron, that's the foot of the Higuron. The foot of Higuron. You should look at it from your... I would say taste, but also from your investment point of view. Exactly. This is what still is very, very much yeah. upcoming. We should go down there. Let's do it. And show you guys what it's all about. Yeah, we're just below the Pueblo we came from. And let's go over to that hill. Wow, look at this. Amazing. I mean, this must be one of the best plots left in Benamar in the Pueblo, right? Look over here, Sierra Nevada. Mm. You just have panoramic views. And there's still one level to go, let's go up. Let's go up. This is prime location to It right? sure is. It doesn't get any better than this. This is about exclusivity. It's about having a, a property that is very close to the Pueblo, close to the A7. 10 minutes in, you are at the airport at Malaga. 25 minutes out, you are in the Mabe area. Two hours, you have Sierra Nevada doing skiing. Winter time from what is like November to April, right? Yeah, November. But this November. is a January day. Wow, this is crazy. Look at the bay over here. Yeah. And at night, this just lights up like Christmas. This train goes from Malaga to Fongiola. And from here in Turmoy, it takes 23 minutes to get into the airport. Yeah. Costs you two euro and five cent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you want to spend a euro more yeah. and nine minutes, you are in the center of Malaga. And you want to have quick access to the People center. People who are renting yeah. also love the train possibility. Yeah, yeah. 
if they don't want to have a car. So this is the way, this is not the supposed way to do it, right? <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my God, <laughs> he'll get run over. That's the locals. So now we're at your place, Bear. Yeah, we are. This is my villa. Amazing location. Thank you, man. The best location, right? <laughs> it's called Sugar Hill. In some way, it must be the best location. It's sweet. You can see why this area is uh, blooming. You can see all the, the beach club down there, the new Trocadero. There's a Mabea concept that now arrives in Belmarina area. Yeah. The Palladium is in Ibiza, a hotel chain, yeah. very high end as well. The Hilton Hotel, five star. Yeah, a bit, uh, further on. a bit further on, and the Carvajal Beach where, where we are at the summertime, yeah. right? And at the far end over here, you have uh, Turkey Brother, right? I mean, yeah. You if want, we can choose, we won't show people you on want, either side. We'll only show them. You want to buy from this area <laughs> to Carvajal yeah. and upwards to the Pueblo, right? Yeah. And, and the you can still right get houses here. I mean, if you look down here, there's still old houses here that you can get. Yeah. The cheapest ones here. I mean, with a little luck, maybe that you want to live in 700,000 years. We have one for 1.3 at this point. Yeah. We have one for almost 700 yeah. till 3 million euro yeah. uh, villas. Good stuff. So now we are the famous stupa in Belmarinas, yeah. a Buddhism temple. And the, the biggest, right? The biggest in, in the whole of Europe. And um, what we're overviewing here is a fantastic organization of very high quality houses overlooking the sea and in a minute we'll go over to Stupa Hills project yeah. which is apartment starting from 300,000 euro yeah about 300 top location yeah very very nice quality okay so this is Stupa Hills this is the most popular new development in walking distance to Ben Al Marina yeah. I think that's fair to say Please follow us on Mojo Lifestyle website, on YouTube channel, and uh, there'll be much more to come. Much more to come of our selected areas that we prefer to show you guys. See you in the sun. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Jacob from Mojo. And today I brought with me Lorena, beautiful Lorena. Hello everybody. And Lorena, she is our in-house lawyer at Mojo, part of our legal service. And we're here now in Mabea, La Quinta, which is like, how far are we from Puerto Banús, would you say? 10 minutes, more or less. 10 minutes, yeah. And we're here because we've sold a villa to a happy client. And uh, the reason you're here, because normally you don't always go out. No, not always. Just yeah. to check that everything is in order with exactly. the client. Exactly. When people fall in love with the property, they have no chance of knowing what's up and down, right? because there's so much going on down here. Exactly. So what is that, what's important to verify for you? The most important thing is to verify that everything is legal, yeah. there is no debts, there has all of the license and about the guarantees to be in place, that's all. Yeah, and this is a new build property. Is yes. there, there's a difference also if it's a resale or new build. Exactly, it has to be covered by a 10 years of guarantee. Is this a special case? This is a, obviously a big villa, but yes. is there any difference from treating this villa, f you know, compared to maybe just a two bed apartment? You know, this is a special case because the client wanted to change a few things. For example, he wants a bigger driveway. Yeah, that's true. So we need to check that everything is done. Yeah. So one of the things that we do is to retain an amount from the seller just to check that everything is going to be done. And that's why we're here. Yeah. Okay, Lorena, she's uh, very involved in all of our clients, but this case we have to admit because of the size of the project and the villa, new build, everything, it's been a little bit special, right? Yeah, of course, it's a high technology villa. This is high tech, guys. This is like, uh, what is this? Mm. I don't know. We need a lot of technical people here yeah. to help us. You need a manual for the future. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we should have taken the elevator. Now we finally have a villa with an elevator going three, four floors up. Jesus. Lorena, why don't you tell the guys about our legal mojo legal service yes we are two lawyers in-house lawyers so we are in mojo says me and Emma, yeah. and we are involved in all of the purchase process from the start to the end i'm gonna just gonna put this here yeah. while we wait. i think we should drink a little bit of wine <laughs> <laughs> so we are a great team we are together we work in connection you know we know what the client is in any moment you start yeah with the client yeah you know what he wants yeah and then we start with the legal things. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's so fantastic because every time I have a little issue or our agents have an issue, we just use you guys, right? You're just next exactly. to us. That is the most different with other real agencies. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, guys, come on. 
While Lorena now is uh, introducing the keys and all the systems, we can start by taking a look at the upstairs terrace. Okay, so this house is a 600 more or less square meter built. We are on a 1,500 square meter plot in the heart of Marbella, La Quinta. 10 minutes to Puerto Venus, La Concha over here. And over here you have beautiful sunset. Whoa, this is amazing. What is uh, the most common thing to look out for when you buy a villa? In this kind of villa, yeah. you need to take care about the urbanistic issues because a lot of villas doesn't have license and you need to check everything. Mm -hmm. And this is our work. Yeah. This is what we do in Moyo Legal. That went well, Lorena, don't you think? Yes, the client is happy. He has the keys and everything was right. Yeah. So what do we do now? Enjoy the Costa del Sol. Yeah, let's go down to the beach and maybe and have a drink. We deserve a drink, don't yes, we? Yes, please, we need a drink. And all of that fun you can get for 3,500,000 euros. Yes. Okay, Jacob, where are we now? Sierra Blanca, Mabea. Nagades. What the hell is that? Yeah, exactly. What is it? It's a square meter price area of 8,000 euros. This is a very exclusive area. So again, we need to... We need to uh, dress. Look at these feet. We're probably getting offered some now. Yeah, we don't want these. <laughs> Hello. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Good. Take a seat. Awesome. You're athletic. You can stand up. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Woo! So guys, let's be honest. There's only one thing I really, really want to show you today. It has nothing to do with the house. Let's start down in the basement. Come on. Toilets, all these things, forget Spot. about it. Forget about it. Forget Here it. we go. In this one. Yeah. Woo! There she is. This is the original car from Gone in 60 Seconds. We're talking Nicholas Cage, Angelina Jolie. They drove that car in here. This is the famous button, baby go-go button. We like it. This is up for sale now, plus one million euro. <laughs> well, everything negotiable, I think, because the house isn't that cheap either. It, yeah, this now we're talking. Is six people. <sighs> Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Just steal your car. Okay. Woo. That heated pool. How about that? Fantastic sauna over here. Yeah. And what is that little thing here? That is year round zero degrees. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Let's have an overview. 1,000 square meter plot, six, seven, eight square meter built. Wow. That comes up to 8,100 euro per square meters because this is a 5.5 million euro property. Yeah completely reformed. We should go upstairs and check out if this property has some sea views. I don't think you're buying into views here, are you? What are you buying into here? You're buying into location, location, location. We do have sea views here. Yeah. yeah. Cool, man. That's nice. Okay, this here, Margot, here. Water for me, please. Water water? Yeah. Yes. Water. Too early for champagne. Very nice design, isn't it? I love the flooring. See the beach. This area is uh, like five, six minutes from Puerto Romano. So it is a top location. I think if you don't want to live in Sacaleta, the people who want to live here, they like to be seen a bit more. It's a bit more, there's a more action here, right? And there's, uh, if, kid, if they have kids in school, that's yeah. a very famous school, yeah, very the Swan school. The Swan School. And six minutes to Puerto Manus. <laughs> What do you think, Jacob? You like the flooring? Is that wood? I imitated wood. We never know. It's good stuff. That's one thing I like very much about this house. It's these ones. Yeah. They're actually, they're actually British. This is a very classical architecture house, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing super modern about it. Five bedrooms. Six bathrooms. Honey, I'm home. Woo. This is the master, is it? No. No, no. Amount well, it's on suite anyway. Serious. Cool. Yeah. I do like these. Here you are buying into location. I mean, you get views, but it's the location more than anything, right? Yeah. There's, and there's also a lot of privacy here up here. That's good. Yeah. This must be the master. Yeah. 
We have a walk-in. Oh, but it is nice. They chose nice materials. Yes, it has a good feel to it. Okay, guys, that's it. If you want a house, if you want a car, you call the motor boys. <laughs> we'll get it for you. 5.5 million euro. It's just another day at the office let's again. Let's go, let's go, go. To steal your car. car. Hello, lady. You can hear the birds here. And the bees. You can even hear the bees singing. It's crazy. This is the west side of Mijas. It's called Mijas La Nueva. And uh, it's beautiful. What do you think? February flowers. A February flower. Wow. That's fantastic. And actually we have some clients who bought a wonderful villa in here. For how much did they buy it for? Eight. I think around 800,000 euros. Yeah. And then they reformed it completely. This is... Uh, Are you bringing the flowers to me? Oh shit. <laughs> this is so authentic. <laughs> Mijas is like, yeah. Hello. Hello. Come on in, Simon. All right. This is typical Andalusian oh, Mijas hello, hello. village. So hello. Authentic. Hey, darling. Hi, Madame. Hi, Meski. So then. Hi, Meski. So then. Hi, Meski. So then. Hi, Meski. So then. Hi, Meski. So So then. Hi, Meski. So So then. Hi, Det her det er faktisk min drømmevilla. Det er så hyggeligt. This is my type of villa. Really, really my type of villa. Why is that, Jacob? It's such a homely feel, isn't it's it? It's a Danish family, right? Yeah, Danish family. They've done such a nice job. So the first thing you notice is they put in very high quality from Denmark. They, they, they took a winner from Denmark yeah, and yeah. it's wood on the inside and aluminium on the outside. Tre alo. Alo tre. These ones yeah. gonna stay here for the next 40 years. Look at the flooring. Yeah. They kept this Spanish vibe kitchen look. Because sometimes when you go into these uh, properties, they're a bit dark and they're like closed in, but uh, I mean, this might not be the best example, but just if you go into here, these living rooms normally are just so dark and tiny. Mm. But this is beautiful, right? But it's, it's so charming with the windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The open layout. You just want to hang around here, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah. And it's all about nature again. It's the peacefulness, it's the tranquilla into it. And then you have it this amazing view. This is not for everyone. This is for people who don't mind taking the car and drive, you know, yeah, I don't know. Ten minutes. Ten so minutes up the up the up the hill. But this this is still walking distance from Mijas Pueblo. Yeah, yeah. This famous old the white pueblo, right? Yeah. Well, show Beautiful. me upstairs. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this also. A little bit of finish here. Nice they did. So we sold them this property, didn't we? Yeah. Eight hundred thousand. Good price. Good price. As far as I know, they put in one thousand euros. What? 100 euros. Sorry, 100,000. <laughs> 100. Okay. Four bedrooms. Yep. All en suite. Yeah, and very beautiful. They kept all these original details here. Look at this. You wake wow. up with that view. This is romantic. I'm not a romantica really, but... Uh, but the, the Spanish vibe to it. <laughs> <laughs> I go for milk. I go for milk. <laughs> ah. Look here, look, come on, come on, look. Up. There's a horse. There's a horse. <laughs> this is like uh, a fairy tale, except for the Spanish gardener. That's so annoying. But just the way that you, you have these, uh, the, the old tiles, the, the nature. Mm. This is modern Spanish. This yes. is. It is. Who doesn't fall in love with a place like yeah. that? Yeah. And the beauty of this is that it's. It's the authentic Spanish design and architecture, and then it has that Nordic twist. So look here. <gasps> wow, again. That, that was that was a terrace before. Now it's opened a little extra up. Yeah, it is. You can even sleep two more here. Mm -hmm. I believe this will will take it on as a rental project at some point, right? Yeah, yeah, they will. When the family has used it for a little. Mojo rentals. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. This is the balcony. Here you have beautiful views at night. Well, at day, in the daytime show, as well. Show, but show Simon where south is. Where's south? That way. That's south. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go down to the pool. So try to imagine for 900,000 euro, yeah. reformed of course, you put a lot of time and love into it, half a year boy or so, but then you have a beautiful family home this of 200 square meters, four bedroom, four bathroom in Mija La Nueva. But what I like about this house also is that it's, uh, it's not too big. No, sometimes houses down here they get too big. Exactly. And for a second home, this is just what you want. It has all these little four areas. bedrooms and a, your own pool, a little cover here. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> I can use that one. You feel tempted. <laughs> no, I'm not don't, doing it. Don't put me. Actually, in here. the truth is. When we sold this villa, one of the tricks was to jump in the pool. We did it. Yeah. Yeah, you did. That was it. That's the key selling point. This little spot, I bet, must be the last bit of sunshine. Yeah. This is where you where you see the, the sun you, setting over the mountains in the just, west. Just the idea to have this area. <laughs> Read your book in here, man. Yeah, yeah. Ah, look at this. Now we are like February 5 o'clock now. Yeah. Jesus. We have two more hours of sunshine and then all of this turns yellow red orange amazing house he's an annoying gardener yeah well we need the fruits of the avocado or whatever he's doing i just go smoke too huh? ah what's that not to like we are in february can you imagine this is nuts you just want to lie here for the rest of february they made a fantastic, fantastic project out of this house. Okay, my friend. Here we are again. Here we are again. Back in Mijas. So, this is Mijas Pueblo. It's like a triangle, right? You have Fongiola down there. Yeah. yeah. 75,000 people living there. And you have Benal Marina over here. Yeah. And this is sort of like the, the top of that triangle. It's, it's, still, it's still the authentic Spanish vibe. And you have the broader view of the whole Mediterranean Sea. Yeah. Overviewing the, the mountains of, yeah. of, of Morocco a, and Africa. A good mix of uh, authenticity, Spanish people, and uh, all of us, white men, <laughs> sure. <laughs> the white man. Okay guys, that's it for today. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Okay guys, so here we are in Calahonda, the west side okay, by Royal Beach. From the beginning. It, boys. This here is the border between Mijas Costa and Marbella. We were meant to go to Cabo Pino. We'll be there in five minutes. You're going to show me the harbor, aren't you? But we got so excited about this on the way. We are on a first line and look at all these beautiful located townhouses. Would you yeah. say it's a townhouse? It's a townhouse. And it's the good part of this is it's old. It's yeah. like from the 80s, 90s. Yeah, yeah. So they all need reform. And why don't you take the opportunity to do that? But it's of course yeah. all about this view here. Look at this. Tell them about the boardwalk, yeah. Jacob. The boardwalk here connects, uh, well, this location to, to La Cala and goes all the way to Cabo Pino. I think the stretch altogether is five kilometers, more or less. But this boardwalk actually is going to be extended all the way to Fongirola. Yeah, isn't they're it? talking about extending it. It's all beautiful. The way to beautiful. Okay. Remember, Pierre, one of these, I can't remember which one, we sold one of those. But that's two years ago, isn't two it? Two years ago. But that was in the below 400. It was, wasn't it? Wow. Okay, we have a special word for these type of properties. Yeah. Recession proof. No way in hell, pardon my French, they gonna decrease in value. No way. No so way, it's no just way. to get these properties, yeah. do a great reform, yeah. and then you have a high return of investment if you rent it out. Oh, sure. Try to move the camera around, Simon. We are in March. The children are playing already. Wow. Every year you're reminded that... What is this? It's sunshine. Fantastic. But this is a good place. Yeah, man. Woo. Let's go to Cabo Pino and see the harbor. So here we are, Cabo Pino Puerto. And this is the only harbor between Fongiola and Mabea. 
Yeah. And not so many people know about it because it's not so visible from the A7 when you're like driving no. by. But that's the beauty about it, isn't it? It's very nice. So you have you have the beach over here yeah. on the other side. Beautiful beach. Kids yeah. love that. Very kids friendly. Yeah. A lot of people want to live in these harbor apartments, but the truth sure. is they're a bit dark. They're not really that nice. But you have honest. you have quite nice restaurants just low here. Yeah, so yeah. it's location again, isn't it? It is. And in the summertime, you'll see people flashing their cars and their yaks and stuff like that, right? Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, yeah. So this is a hidden gem, Cabopino Harbor. Have a look around. Wow. Postcode Envy. Postcode Envy. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. So here we are on the beach in March month. This is crazy. Fantastic. Look at this. This is packed in summertime. And this is very kid friendly. Super popular area. Yeah. So Jacob, you do your morning runs here, don't you? I always do my morning runs here. Well, why is it always in slow-mo? I always work out in slow motion. Ah. That's just what I do. You're the only guy I know can run in slow-mo. Yeah. And there's also a very nice family restaurant that uh, we sometimes go to, don't we? Yeah. Andy's Beach Bar. Yeah. And if you forgot your bathing suit? Yeah, there's also a place for nudists. Playa Nudista. Playa Nudista. So if you like that, go that way. If you don't like it, stay here. And what makes this area really, really special, I think, besides the Puerto and, and, and what we've just covered, is that this is a uh, preserved nature yeah. area, right? Nothing can be built here. It should be on the UNESCO list. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, in the past, they've been a bit rough on the coast, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they're actually starting to think a little bit more in green. That's and cool. And they've, they've just reserved all this, and it's, it's but, beautiful but nature. Look at the green, look at the mountains. Yeah. And hey, that brings me to, let's go upside. Do we have time still? It's something for the golf players. Yeah. So now we just uh, drove three minutes up from uh, the harbor of yeah. Capopino. And we are in a area where they have done a lot of work the a last few years. A lot of new built, a yeah. lot of new built. And it's quite big villas actually. A lot of it is already completed, but there's still available that's developments a, up there's here. There's a few over there that are still on the market. Yeah. Let's go one step further up. Yeah. Upper Capopino. Yeah. This is it. This is it. New built and a lot of golfing. 18 golf course holes. Of course. Yeah. You have beautiful views up here. I think if there's something you need to compromise with up here, it must be uh, east facing, right? Of course, these guys south orientated. Yeah. These ones are a little more troubled because it's east orientated. Yeah, that's one compromise you have to settle with here. That a lot of these uh, on this slope are east facing. You won't have the evening sun. Some of them will, obviously. This one, unless you're this lucky guy, he has strict south. Yeah. But it's very nice, very modern up here. Yeah. They're not cheap either. They're not cheap. No. Okay. Okay. This is hole 15. Yeah. And beautiful location. Take a look around, Simon. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh, it's very beautiful. Yeah. There's maybe a little too many old men and no girls in bikini. On a serious <laughs> note, this new organization yeah. or development uh, over here is ready for sale now. Yeah. It just opened three weeks ago. And we're talking 1 million euro, yeah. a lot of square meters, but this is very high quality for yeah. the coast. Fantastic. Yeah. Today we ended up at Cabo Pino, and if you want to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, subscribe to this channel or this link. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man. See you next time. See you next time. Wow. Did you hear my comments with no girls in bikini here? No. Uh, Smile, guys. Only old guys. Here you go. You're welcome. Hi guys, it's Jacob from Mojo. How are you? It's been a while since we've done videos. I've done videos. Uh, it also seemed a little bit inappropriate to keep promoting properties and blue skies when so many people are affected by this in a bad way. Um, far worse than I am anyway. Um, but anyway, I've decided to do a video on the behalf of uh, the Mojo team and share some of the thoughts on how we see the situation and um, yeah. If you, um, you know, it's very still in very early days and uh, no one can really predict the future. And you're also free to turn this video off if you like. Uh, but if you stay, you might agree with me on some things or not, okay? Okay. We normally use Simon for these recordings, but uh, we're not allowed to meet Simon and I. And uh, Simon is human. That's disgusting, right? Can't have that. Um, I might send this to Simon for subtitle if I say something clever. Uh, and the Wi-Fi is still corona-free. Anyway, 
uh, where am I? I am in uh, Fuengiola, downtown. And why am I here? Well, I'm here because I was expecting all the bars and new cool restaurants to be open, uh, but they are obviously not. Secondly, I am here because we recently sold a family villa in Beral Marina, uh, which was sort of cool timing from a seller's point of view, I guess. Uh, but I uh, must admit, I could certainly use a little bit more of uh, open feel space at the moment. It is a bit tight in the city. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know if you, all of you guys, know this, but uh, we are not allowed to go outside our homes here in Spain. Um, we are allowed to go out with the garbage, to go shopping in the supermarkets, or walk the dog if you have one. I know in Denmark, where I'm from, you're still allowed to meet with friends and uh, take a walk, uh, take a run, exercise, drive out if you want to. There's certainly a lot more freedom there. Um, and just to put things in perspective, uh, I want to just let's take a look over here in one of these apartments. So let's just go over here and take a look. This is downtown Fuengiola. Very nice. but. Imagine a family there. I'm thinking two adults, one, two or three children, uh, and they can take turns on that balcony. Then you add video games, overexcited children, and maybe a dog on top of that. That's how crazy this situation is for some Spanish families. Well, also international families, but uh, certainly for Spanish. And if you go out on the streets, you will get fined. Um, I mean, they're not unreasonable, but they do take this very, very seriously, I have to say, um, with good reason. Anyway, I'm on the top of this uh, building uh, here in Fongiola that uh, Ida and I invested in. Uh, we recently invested in a few apartments down here in center uh, that all needs total reform, total renovation. Uh, but now we can't even start that process because the building sex sector has paused and uh, the workers are not allowed to work. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll tell you more about that process in more detail in a different video. And Pierre and I was actually uh, preparing a video where we will take you through that whole process of renovating, uh, you know, the whole process of that uh, for a resale purpose or a, a rental purpose. So stay tuned for more on that. And when we get to that video, I'll also tell you why I personally started investing in uh, downtown Fuengiola a place that I would never ever have recommended to anyone 10 years ago, five years ago, or even two years ago was out of the question, but that has certainly changed. And uh, so stay tuned for more on that. Uh, if you see the streets down here on a uh, non-corona day, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's simply just full of life and everything is just completely changed. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for more on that. Back to the point to what I wanted to talk about, how this will, uh, this coronavirus will affect the property market here in Spain. Uh, well, the length of this uh, crisis will, of course, depend on the uh, quarantine that we're all in. Uh, when you guys, the international buyers, are allowed back, we certainly see a lot of eager uh, buyers, or should we call them investors, seeing a lot of uh, possibilities now or expecting a lot of possibilities, and some are certainly completely unrealistic. The argument is that a lot of sellers uh, will uh, potentially be more encouraged to sell at a lower price. If uh, for any reason they need to sell, um, they will probably uh, be encouraged to sell at a lower price right now. I mean, that does make some sense. Uh, and there will be distressed sales, I'm quite sure of it myself. Um, the big challenge here uh, for us as brokers will also be to sort of adjust these expectations a little bit uh, so we don't end up in a, in a sort of deadlock situations where buyers set their expectations far too high and then they meet eventually a market where sellers are not really that eager to sell and are also prepared to wait to things settle down. Anyway, I know for a fact that there are distress sales right now, so uh, I do understand why some of the clever smart buyers out there are, are sort of smelling blood at the moment, how terrible it may seem. Uh, but anyway, we also need to think about that this only, uh, this doesn't only sort of uh, come to the good of the us or the international buyers. It certainly also benefits the, uh, the local Spanish, the policemen, the nurse, the healthcare workers, and the school teachers and so on who have uh, actually been you know denied buying a property for so long because the prices down here have gone crazy it's just uh, insane right 
So, you know, it's bad, uh, but there will be opportunities now for everyone to get a grip as well. And, uh, you know, is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. Certainly, certainly interesting, especially from an investment point of view. So I guess the next question is, uh, when can you all come back? I wish I knew the answer to that question, uh, but I don't. And I don't expect the Spanish borders to open as the very first thing. Uh, no signs of that, but they will open. And uh, if I had to sum that up into sort of one line, I'd say nothing compares to the Costa del Sol, really. Let's be honest, uh, Barcelona, Madrid, south of France, Italy, none of these places have 320 days of guaranteed yearly sunshine, right? Uh, of course, it's nice to uh, to take a walk in the rain or bicycle through the forest, but uh, let's be honest, we all need the light and the blue, you know, the color of the sea, the sky, even Superman is blue, right? Uh, it just makes us all feel a lot better. So uh, we will open, Spain will open again, and uh, we just need to sort of calm down and prepare for that, right? Times are changing. We're all facing a different world. And uh, as I understand it, and I can see, and I'm using it myself, we are already trained or adapting to a, a new way of business life, right? And why not practice all your conference calls in, uh, in sunny Spain, from sunny Spain in the future? That makes a lot of sense. Um, anyway, uh, this crisis has also taught us a lot of things. Uh, I mean, you know, we have more time at home. We might not need to travel that much uh, to do all our business meetings. and. Uh, you know, we don't need maybe to spend so much money on things that we don't really need and so on. I mean, it's very difficult to sort of face these things. And uh, my mindset used to be a hippie and then I turned into a luxury hippie. And now I'm just a happy capitalist. And uh, I certainly miss the flights down here uh, for you guys and serve you guys finding properties and investments and so on. So it's changing for all of us. And there's certainly some conflicts there. But whatever we do, I think it's very important to keep uh, positive about everything. And um, yeah, okay. Uh, I also think it's very important to, to remember that this is not a catastrophe. Uh, it is a crisis. And I think, I mean, we need to keep things in proportions. And I say that with a lot of love and respect and uh, a lot of sadness also, uh, because we had... Uh, uh, one of our employees, uh, who's be been with us from the very beginning, lost her dad this week to the coronavirus. And um, only five days after, he uh, turned a proud grandfather. So that's very sad. And he was only, he only just was uh, 58 years old. So that's just, uh, that's just very, very sad. So that's as close as it's come to me. One of our agents, uh, one of our very, very best agents, has uh, also been down for three weeks and lost nearly eight ten kilos and um, he's uh, nearly 50 years old but uh, he's uh, he's gathering his strength now so that's as close as it's come to me and uh, I do take this very seriously and I'm, I am affected by it uh, but I also think that uh, we will get by everyone yeah all right maybe I should stop this video now uh, it's so easy to get lost in your own asshole here on Facebook right we don't want that so just uh, one last thing maybe is to remember that you guys receiving this uh, video, uh, we are the privileged ones and uh, we need to remember that it is a luxury to have a second home in Spain and everything will be all right. Uh, so, you know, we just have to stay positive and don't overreact or panic or, or you know, just be cool about it. Uh, it'll be all right. It's a luxury for all of us. And, uh, you know, Mojo will be here to greet you guys when you're back. And we certainly want to help you find the best deals as soon as the plane starts or whichever way you find your way down here. We're here to help. And until then, just, uh, you know, stay positive and be a good neighbor. And uh, then we'll see you all in the sun. All right. Stay safe. Bye bye. So today we are in Roca del Mar. And this is, what is this area, Jay? Well, this area is, uh, is it too much to say that it's one of the most popular areas between Fungiola and Mabea? At least I know that this is one of the areas where most properties are actually sold. Yes, yeah. it's popular. It's very popular. Yeah, look at the view here. This is why it's called Rock Castelmar. It is rocks in the water, okay? One of the reasons why this is super popular is because that boardwalk you were just filming goes all the way, it starts in, or whatever you like, starts in Capopino or La Cala yeah. and connects those two dots with yeah. a five kilometer boardwalk. Exactly. 
That's cool, right? Guys, we are here because of that little project over here. If you go like this, that house there. Yeah. It's an old townhouse, 25 years old, and it needs a complete reform. And now we're gonna go up and look at Antonio tearing it all apart. <laughs> so the first we did, Jacob, was to get approval from the organization, the El Presidente. Yeah, that's a good idea always. <laughs> it's always a good idea to ask the community yeah. before you start work like so this. Old Spanish building style, look at this wall yeah. facing to the south of the sea. Yeah, yeah, it's a good location. And there's no, there's no window. So uh, the approval was made to get a big window yeah. on the left side of the top balcony. Yeah. Of course, the old aircon machine, they go on the roof. Of course. So that's, that's what's also one thing you normally need to ask the community allowance for. Yeah, yeah. Getting rid of the aircons, right? But they are so ugly as, as, yeah, yeah, yeah. as now, right? Now, prepare yourself. Yeah. Now you're going to witness a reformed yard. Part one. First of all, there's stairs down. Yes. So this whole floor will be leveled up. Yeah. So you go from, from your different living areas directly out to a terrace with the same flooring, okay? It can't go all wrong. You have a southwest facing terrace here. Yeah. Beautiful. It's very, it's very private. There's no road noise. No, There's no. nobody. And it's a very charming Andalusian uh, architecture, it. or whatever you call it, right? Simon, you go in first because yeah. <laughs> you're gonna break your legs in here. This used to be the living room. Yeah. This is gonna be a, a room now, sleeping room. And out here, the main entrance is gonna be a bathroom now. We're gonna close it all off here, yeah. close this wall, and then it's gonna be a nice bathroom yeah, yeah. in here. So you're gonna close this wall, yeah? That's gonna be closed. And the community was all right? Yep. Cool. The kitchen is gone. Yeah. And as I say, this will all be moved out, so we will have a big area. This toilet here. Whoa! In the action! <laughs> Follow Antonio up there. This is amazing. That's amazing, right? Wow, this just totally changed. This is the part of a reform that I love the most. Yes. The first time you see how you can play with space and just uh, distribute rooms differently, it's beautiful. This yes. is just a complete change. Fantastico, amigos! Woo! Mucho bombón! Con mucho amor! Más grande, más grande, eh? Más grande. Esto hierro. Deberían de ser más gordos. Sí, son muy sí. pequeños. Son muy yeah, pequeños. Bien, ¿eh? Pero muy pequeños. So, this was the old uh, bathroom. Mm -hmm. This room here is still going to be a bathroom, but it's going to be a smaller one. Yeah. Only going from here to here. Mm -hmm. Then this room is going to be into two rooms. Yeah. So it's all about having a uh, two bedrooms making into a three bedrooms. Ah, for the resale value. That's one good point. Yes. So try to imagine there'll be a little room here, 160, yeah. with a 160 bed. And over here is going to be a full one with mm -hmm. full access to the sea and, and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the west side, okay? So two extra room, a little here. And in here is going to be the new living room. Yeah. And you try to imagine the big new window coming here. Ah. How, so far, how far are you going out here? <coughs> we're gonna go as far as we possibly can. <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna match the downstairs ah. uh, to it. Let's see. Hmm. Ah. Will the community really allow this? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, because that's a big change for an old sort of Andalusian style property. Well, but it's like others have done it with yeah. the window yeah. and everything. <gasps> inside, is, they don't care about the inside. No, the inside they don't care about. Right. Okay, bien, Antonio. Continua, trabajar. <laughs> so, guys, we're gonna follow up on this. So, stay tuned to follow the story about Rocket del Mar 2, okay? Woo! Here we are again. Yeah, and look at this. Look at this. It's always a good sign, isn't it? <laughs> Antonio's here. Wow, look at this. <laughs> so, what has it been like? Two weeks? Two weeks since we were here? Yep. Let's go have a look. How so far I come. already can see now they yeah. put in the frames preparing for the new windows to come in. And I'm excited to see how that looks from the inside. From the inside. Ooh. It better be good. I'm sure it's good. Ooh. This is a new frame. Yes. So we're extending this one. 
yeah. coming out here and then it goes all the way down remember yeah is that the old beam or would, did they have to put in a this new is a new one, one. The, a old, new one the old one goes away yeah simon come over here remember that was the old main door okay yeah. and in here looks not so good now but here will come a big bathroom yeah. and then we took a new main door here it works actually yeah. wow and there's still a toilet they left the toilet here i think we're gonna move that <laughs> okay kitchen is coming over here but the most important thing the money shot is upstairs i hope so i damn hope so it's a good idea let's go blue sky from the beginning this is crazy look at the ceiling up there the whole wall is away yeah yeah wow and this we is took, really we took that little window with here but that, that was too granny it's like you don't want that today this is increase of value it's crazy wow. it's called capital appreciation right <laughs> wow 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 look here look here look here whoa it's interesting why they did not distribute it like this it's in crazy. the first place, it's right? crazy. They just never thought about it back and this then. This is the reason that we're moving uh, the living room area up here. Yeah. So what we also did is try to move the camera around, Simon. We made the bathroom a little smaller. Yeah. And by doing that, we make room for a extra bathroom or extra yeah. bedroom. Yeah. One by 60. And we put in a complete new window. Look here. It's a three bed. That was a wall. Look at this view. So what we did here is we took a two bedroom, one bathroom, changed it into three bedroom, two bathroom, and a big living area is now overlooking the sea. And that's how we do the reforms. Yes. When you do it the right way. Yeah. 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 It's all about possibilities and redistribution and uh, okay. these. So when we come back next time, guys. Yeah. We had new windows in. Hopefully the floors are looking a little nicer and especially the warmth. Yeah. But see you next time. Okay?